Hi everyone, Chris here. Uh, thanks for joining me on this next project. Uh, as you can see, the Ravel 29 Model A Roadster. It's a two in one. Um, and this, I will say, this build has been sponsored uh, by Scale Riders. So, a massive thank you for that. Um, I've also got a load of uh, detail lot parts, and I'll show you them in a bit as well. Uh, but yeah, regarding the kit, uh, when Edgar reached out and asked me um, what I fancied building, uh, this has been a kit I've looked at a few times. Um, whenever I've seen it, like shows, for example, unfortunately, I've already, I don't already spend my money on other kits. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely something I've uh, I've looked at quite a few times. And after the Impala build, I thought, yeah, let's give it another Revel go. And this time, my first hot rod. Um, so, with regards to uh, so the two in one, as you can see, you've got the rough and ready, weathered, rusty rat rod with a nice classy sort of um, clean, glossy look obviously, which is, is the style I'll be going for uh, not in that colour, although that colour is pretty nice but you can see some of the options, there's two engine setups steering wheels seats wheels a bit of all sorts chassis frame so yeah and that's, that's a pretty cool box art as well so yeah let's uh, have a look what's inside the box yes the box is empty because I've already emptied it all out into there there's quite a lot of bits so first of all what comes first we've got this this sprue here we've got the wheels I'm um, not sure what these are, must be wheel. I don't know. I will be honest, I'm not too familiar with hot rods, so I do apologise. Uh, these might be behind the fuel tank. I don't know if that's a roof or not. Not sure. Yeah, so even though I'm not familiar with hot rods, doesn't mean I'm against them. I do think they look pretty cool. Really, really cool. Um, used to watch this, what is it called? Camp, is it counting cars? Uh, Camps, customs, things like that. Pretty cool, yeah. It's really inspiring that program. Uh, this one is this looks like like a chassis plate, the interior base plate. Not sure what these are. The dash. What I will say is the uh, the kit is very very clean. Very oh, nearly broken as well. Um, very clean, very tidy, and the body shell is very very small. It does come with these which I think fit over give it a really oh yeah I quite like that smooth look well, that's a good idea that looks like the firewall front radiator something pipes seat bench Um, again, oh yeah, interior, this is interior, door card this time, another seat bench, this one's got the, the, the two, I guess that one's just solid straight across, which I think I prefer, but I don't know, we'll see, um, it's, the interior is something I normally look at doing once everything's been painted body wise. Uh, we've got the engine block and bits and bobs. Quite like these Ravel kits because they're quite in depth with the amount of detail you can get. This is going to be fun playing about with that. We've got the two chassis frames. What do you call them? The A frames, I think. Well, they look like an A. See? Um, I'm not sure. But yeah. I'm not sure which one I'll be going for yet. Kind of have a look once it's all painted. Let me get the. Just turn the camera a little bit. It's got the rear drive. Got some of the old rubber tyres, look. Pretty good. 
loads of chrome parts, we'll open it in a second. I think what, what it was like, possibly, I'm not sure. Maybe exhaust, not sure. We've got the window frame, uh, front grill. Oh, sorry, uh, the dial display unit. Maybe door handles, I'm not sure. All these chrome bits will be stripped. There'll be nothing on this build in this chrome. It'll all be stripped down and repainted. Some plot manifolds. You've got your blow over there, look. It's pretty cool, isn't it? And you got your wheels. Knock-off caps, is it? Steering wheels. You got your wheel caps. Chrome wheel trims. Of all sorts, look. You've got your light fittings. What we've got here suspension, struts, anti roll bars, I think. Oh, that looks like leaf springs there. So, yeah. And if I show you the detail up parts, what else is there? Oh, yep. Yeah, they've got another one of these. I'm not sure. I don't know if they're exhaust or not. We'll soon find out when we get building. Luckily enough, there's not too many clear parts, and the connection points are very tiny, easy to deal with. Lovely days, lovely jubbly, happy days, even. To bring the camera out a bit, because it's a big old book. Uh, and I must say, by the way, as well, all, all the parts, as you've probably seen, are very clean, very clean indeed. It's very impressive. So one thing I have noticed with this book, uh, I don't think I've seen this before in other books, is part names, which is fantastic for those um, willing to learn what the names are of some of the parts. So for those uh, you know, not as in the knowledge as others, you want to learn things like that. This is a pretty cool, pretty cool feature to have. And you can really help learn some of the part names. I quite like the instructions with these. It's very clear and laid out well, I think. Let's turn this light a little bit. Is that too much? I don't know. Too much. Let's just knock that off. Oh, that's better. Uh, so what you've got uh, with these instructions, you'll have A or B. Depends which setup you want to go for. And you've also got these stars in this box. That's for chrome. That points out the chrome parts. Otherwise, you've got all your letters which tell you what parts uh, need to be painted what colour. Again, you know, it's all laid out very nicely. Very impressive indeed. Yeah, and again, as you can see, look, all you've got all the A's, all the B's. Depends on which setup you want. And when it comes to doing the decals, uh, you've got, it tells you there, look, that little symbol. Gives you the heads up, so like number 11 with a star, 10 with a star, and 9 with a star. That'll be your decals. A big old book. Pages are quite thick as well. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think it's uh, I think it's laid out really nicely. It's nice and clear. It's not too much going on at each step. Very you know laid out well. Um, got the decal layout for the rat rod as such. And then you've got the uh, decal layout for the uh, the glossier, cleaner look. Now this is what I'll be going for. Um, you can see as well it comes with some pinstripes, uh, which I will be using. 
Um, I'll show you the pinstripes in a minute, but I think with the colour scheme I'm going for, I think they'll work really well. And already, I mean, already, I, I just love the look. I love how this looks. Um, also, something new I've not seen before is uh, this bit. Do not dip decal 23 through 27 in water. Carefully cut out and use white glue to attach. At first, I was thinking, why, why, what, what decals are they? And it's not until you look at the sheet and you realise what they are. It's actually the um, number plates. It's pretty cool. Look. I think I might have some like aluminium or something uh, plates in a spares box from some AOC kits. So I'll have a look and see what I can find. Um, there's the pinstripes look. They look cool, don't they? Yeah, again, a touch back onto the counting cars, counts customs. Uh, I think it's Ryan, like the head painter there. He does all the pinstriping, uh, you know, the, the airbrush. It's fantastic, really inspiring. Um, for, absolutely for sure. So the decal sheet. And then, we've got all these detail up parts, which uh, was kindly thrown in as well. Uh, then, as you can see, there is quite a lot. Now, let's get this camera moved in. Having a guess, by looking at the seat belt and the distributor cap wiring, do you know what colour the body might be? I think it might be giving it away a bit too much. But anyway, uh, you've got some uh, velocity stacks. I think they look cool. You've got some air filters, cleaners. Again, you've got the belts and buckles. With it being a hot rod, does it have them? I'm not sure. I will be doing some research when I sit down to getting it ready. I've got the distributor cap. Wiring, that's what I used on the Impala. Uh, and they're really good, really good. You get with this, you get a f five, six, and eight. No, no, sorry, not five. Four cylinder, six cylinder, eight cylinder. It's obviously for your straight four V6 V8. It's quite good. Uh, pulley set. Uh, after the last mishap, um, I've thought of a few ideas, but I'll not explain them just yet. It might sound a little bit crazy. I want to try them first before showing you, in case I make a massive doo doo. Uh, some muffler, traditional old school style mufflers, but these all look pretty cool. Sticking out the side. We've got some moon eyes set. We've got the moon eyes plates. Pretty cool. And we've got some flexible hose. So yeah, a massive thank you to Edgar for sending me the kit and all the parts to go with it. I'm really looking forward to getting started on this. And um, as for the colour, we'll be going... The colour I'll be going is Candy Sapphire Blue. I'm just going to be flashlight on see if that helps so um paul at pro scale model paints is used tag on instagram is pro scale models um he's also the owner of pro scale paints uh, he was kind enough to send me out these paints um and this sparkling silver candy base is just very sparkly stunning and then you got the candy sapphire blue i think this is a little bit like for those familiar Maybe a bit Cosworth blue colour ish, maybe. Could be wrong. But anyway, with this, it's the first time really trying a candy candy. Um, but if you can see, obviously in the bottle, it's a very dark, but in the bottle lid, it's quite light. Obviously, with it being a candy, you, you get the colour desired on how many coats you want. Um, I want to go not too light, but a nice um, light ish. Blue, um, keep it nice and bright and vibrant, and um, we'll see. It might only take two or three coats, we'll see. Uh, but I'm looking forward to trying that. Um, 
so yeah a massive thank you to paul for these paints as well now if you're looking to get some kits some detail up parts or you know checking out um, tools and things like that if you head on over to scaleladders.com um, you can use discount code kit builder chris you get 10 percent off also, if you want to get some paints, be it paint colours, primers, 2K, um, textured paints, uh, which um, I've recently um, been sent through from Paul. I've got a bunch of colours. I've got blue, red, uh, black. I even went for yellow. Uh, some yellow seats and some JDM cars coming up. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, you can also head over to Postgirl Paints website. Um, and if you use KBC5, you get... 5% off your order, um, it's a minimum spend £10 uh, and it's only applicable to Postgale Paint products. Uh, but what I will do is I'll leave all the information in the description of the video uh, with the links. So head on over to them websites, treat yourself, use the codes, um, doesn't cost you any extra, uh, it saves you, you know, a few quid and uh, it helps everyone out. Uh, you know, you're getting treat treating yourself to some bits. And then obviously, you know, it helps me as well uh, producing future videos and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I appreciate everyone's support. Uh, the Impala video series was wow. It was all just, I really appreciate everything from everyone. The kind words, the amount of views and, you know, the likes and the comments and stuff. It was just cra crazy. And so yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you. So anyway, that's it for the unboxing for this Ford kit. Um, I've kept you for quite some time, so I do apologise. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting started, and I hope um, you'll be able to come and join me, and we'll go from there. Um, the first video will probably be just the usual bodywork, figuring out what I want to get painted in that candy blue sapphire. Um, so obviously the body, some of the wheels, um, but again, we'll go from we'll go from there in the uh, next video. Anyway, look after yourselves when you see you next time. Cheers, thank you.